What's your question? Where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips to make you the best Fortnite player. And so with the whole new season of Fortnite comes a whole new set of Fortnite myths to bust. Yeah, that's right, man. It's a fresh new season and there's plenty to discover from the improbable to the oddly real. So let's put a few of these myths to rest, shall we? But before we do, it's time to get my favorite candy, y'all. What is that? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. So they're finally here. That's right, everybody, look up at the sky. The blimps are coming and they've offered a whole new place to fight for that victory out. With building currently turned off, blimps are like, you know, like the best way to get high ground and offer a fantastic way to rotate from one location to the next without their cannons. However, the question on everyone's mind is this, like, can you knock those blimps right out the sky? So there are so many new weapons that we could be using to just really bring down the blimps, but nothing really seems to really make a dent on them, right? And so even with the new cannons, which, you know, lore wise uh, are meant to really bring down flying aircraft. I mean, it really doesn't seem to just make much difference. Oh, well, well, it looks like those blimps are here to stay for now. So you might not be able to bring down a blimp, all right, but you still need to take down your opponents. Click on the link below and visit ProGuys.com to discover the latest pro strategies for the season's meta. Get a head start on the competitive season by getting in touch with our pros who can unleash your hidden potential. Become a better strategist, right? Master your mechanics and learn what it means to become a Fortnite pro. Do you miss the good old days of just flying around in airplanes and UFOs? Well, maybe not, but the question still stands, can you fly the blimps? After all, like back when blimps were just elite concept, you might have assumed at first glance that these were going to be some sort of new vehicle that would arrive on the island in a future update. Well, technically, we were right. You know, the glimpse are definitely vehicles that have arrived on the island, but they don't seem to be drivable. Oh, well, well, better luck next time. <laughs> Though, I mean, who knows, like perhaps flying vehicles will make a comeback at some point. We will just have to make do with creative modes. If you already haven't tried them out, tanks are absolutely insane this season. These massive war machines are capable of destroying anything they run over. With the ability to seat the entire crew, these babies are essentially the new mechs, just slightly slower. But I mean, can tanks really destroy anything? That's the myth. And uh, you know, we're here to crack it wide open. Here we go. The answer to this question is yes. Mostly. The tank is able to destroy any object it runs over, reducing it to a pulp. In fact, like you don't ever need to drive over structures to do so. You can just simply drive through a wall and still bring down entire buildings under the weight. However, there are some necessary items that can't be destroyed so easily. For starter, zip lines are unaffected by tanks since they aren't exactly destructible objects. Also, that strange skeleton near Tilted can't be leveled. So. That's strange. Other than that, you know, tanks are the perfect vehicles to chase down your opponents with and really get those quick eliminations. Season two of Fortnite has done something we really didn't expect them to do, but those guys really did it anyways. If you're thinking about what I'm thinking, then uh, you're spot on. Building is actually missing from the game. Mechanics this time around and really completely, really changed now Fortnite has played. For now, you can't even get hit once and respond by building the Eiffel Tower. If building was your main skill now, whew, well, it's time to get good with your aiming skills. So get good. Still though, like it begs the question, is there a secret way to activate building again? Is there some sort of secret switch that that you can pull that activates building for everyone in the area? No, there isn't. So stop hitting those rocks because there isn't any secret tunnel down there, okay? But you know, there are still ways that you can play with building on, but there's still ways that you can play with building on if you still wanna just brush up on your skills for whenever it eventually comes back. Like you can always hit creative, you know, try those 1v1s and zone wars. You can just build at your heart's content. Also, just make sure you keep training your building even if it's not in the game at the moment. Like don't let your skills get dusty, all right? So can the cow catcher be used as cover? So during the last item on the list, you know, we talked about building. Building was the perfect way to get fast cover if you suddenly find yourself under fire. You know, with building gone, Fortnite players need to get creative and one interesting question comes in the form of, can you use a cow catcher as cover? Cow catchers are the latest vehicle mods giving you an extra layer of protection for vehicles. But there are some unconventional uses to it and the answer to this myth is just as surprising as the suggestion itself. You know, we all know chunkers, tires have a special effect when you just throw them on the ground, right? The tires expand until they're destroyed or picked up again. It seems cow catchers actually work in a similar fashion, deploying if thrown on the ground. However, because the cow catcher has more health, I mean, it is an interesting alternative to building a wall during this no building season. Like you can deploy the cow catcher as a makeshift cover whenever the occasion arises. But interestingly enough, when used on creative, the cow catcher reveals another ability we aren't able to see in the current state of battle royale. Cow catchers usually destroy player built walls when deployed. You know, building comes back, then this could be a huge deal if the effect still sticks around. We'll just have to wait and see. 
All right, so during season one, we had one of the most busted weapons of all time in the form of the MK7. What started off as a strange ADS experience for most players soon became the most sought after weapon in the entire game, besides the SMGs, of course. So their precision was unparalleled and just managed to take advantage of nearly impossible peaks. Even after they nerfed the weapon, it was still the best thing to come out of season one. Sadly though, season two removed this weapon, but one character still seemingly holds on to it. That's right, I'm talking about the foundation. So if you look closely as walk around the foundation still carries the mk7 so naturally that means if you can kill him you can just take this prize and cover the weapon so is it true can you still do it well first you have to kill him and with building absent from the game uh you actually have to just pump some lead into him instead of just using the good old harpoon trick sorry guys you're gonna have to work for this one so don't get excited though because the myth is busted and there is no mk7 instead you're gonna be treated to the ranger rifle and get a taste of disappointment looks like the mk7 has gone the way of the pump but hopefully like many other weapons we might once again see them come back someday. Uh, well, I guess we just have to wait. All right, guys, so one of the newest items to be added to the Fortnite Armory are the repair torches. So, so these items are more of a utility than an actual weapon, but if the harpoon gun can take down enemies, then why not the repair torch? The answer to this myth is yes. You can actually kill your opponents with a repair torch. However, the next question is, do you really want to? Like repair torches do very little damage, so just trying to nail your opponents is pretty much impractical using this method. However, if a challenge comes up where you have to do it, at least you just know it's possible just improbable. <laughs> But you know, there is another myth that we can prove that works right now, and that's whether or not torches can actually light structures on fire. After all, like there are torches, right? So the answer to this is yes, they can. If you could hold the torch directly in a build rather than on vehicles like you're supposed to do, then you're gonna eventually light walls on fire. But just like the standard fire, this is gonna spread across whatever structure you ignited, and you can see future viability whenever building comes back. All right, so we all know that the new cannons can launch you high into the sky and even let you rotate much quicker. But what happens if you hit structures? Like, what if you hit an opponent? I mean, it is bound to, you know, happen eventually, but today we're gonna get down to the bottom of this mystery. After all, like Fortnite players are always looking for the next big advantage, no matter how small or improbable they are. So, are you guys ready for this? Here we go. The answer is here because it actually might surprise you. Yes, you can deal damage if you land on certain objects. You know, when you're launched with much force, you can actually do damage to buildings, and while you may not always be able to level it to the ground, you can leave some noticeable cracks on the walls. But you can also deal damage to opponents by landing right on them. But this is a much trickier situation to really come across in a game because it's just changing your trajectory is just quite difficult when you're being launched and an enemy player to always move it around. Still though, if the stars align and you manage to launch yourself at an opponent, you know that you're gonna deal some damage in the process. All right, so before we wrap things up for today, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com for some pro-level coaching. But you guys tell me where you at, some innovation guys back. Listen, I hope you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know what you'd be interested in learning more about. We love to hear from you guys. Remember, even myths might have some truth to them, so, you know, it's that sense of exploration that really leads to new strategies being discovered. So, if you guys see something interesting, check it out. Make sure to connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. We'll see you on the next one.